Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Four humans who are a little far over the territory line. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have some fun today. I'm sure you know the, the rules about crossing the territory line, right? Yeah, uh, you don't do it. That's that's You're so right for that. So, since you're so smart and got that right, of course, I'm sure you know what happens when you do, right? That's right. You are so smart. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Quicker than the last group. All right. Let the fun begin. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, that was rude. <sighs> no fun. Uh, go catch those three. I don't know. Do what you want with them. If you want. Throw them back across the turtle. I don't, I don't care. However, this one. This one right here. <laughs> yes, I mean you, little one. You are going to come with me. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to. Okay, okay. Well, next time I ask, I'll take that into consideration. However, you know the rules. If you're caught, you are mine. Your friends. I'm sorry, are you talking about the ones that just tripped you? Left you here? Didn't help at all? Didn't even look back in your direction. You need to get better friends, little one. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Start walking. <laughs> no, not that way. That's back towards the territory line. You're not going that way. Nope. You aren't. You are coming this way. Yep, there we go. See that that direction right there. Just keep walking. Don't uh Don't try to run again. Little one. <laughs> you won't get far. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry for the, the yawning little one. I uh I just got off of a long, long journey. So you can imagine my surprise when I get back to, to my home, right? And I get word that there's humans stomping around my home. Through my woods. You can imagine my surprise, can't you? <laughs> yes, you can. <sighs> okay. <sighs> well, here we are. This is our village. Your new home. I suggest you put on a friendly face. You know, a big smile take you far in this community. <laughs> as well as a strong work ethic. Which, if you don't have, you can develop. Don't worry. You'll be fine.
<sighs> this is your new home. <laughs> no, you do not get your own home. No. You will be staying with me. <laughs> mm, don't worry. You will? You will be getting your own bed. Don't worry. <sighs> of course, little one. Despite what you may think of me, I do care about you. Let's just say I've always special interest. And, uh, the unfortunate, unfortunate souls, you know. So when I see you getting tripped by your friends, left alone, that's pretty unfortunate, don't you think? That you were caught while trying to leave? That's pretty unfortunate. However, that it was me who found you is pretty fortunate. And that it was me who took very specific interest in you alone is very fortunate. So, it's not all bad, little one. <laughs> the, maybe you're right. Maybe it's just in the eyes of the beholder. I think you'll like it here. <sighs> so, tell me, little one, now that we're in your new home, why is it you are here? Well, that doesn't answer my question, but what do humans teach you about us? Ugh. I'm sorry, what? Now we... <laughs> no, no, little one. We don't eat humans. Uh, what a ridiculous idea. Jeez. No, we do not do that. Do they just teach you that we're some vile monster that can't be reasoned with? <laughs> oh, those humans. Uh, no, we don't teach about humans. Well, at least not. We don't tell people that uh, you're big scary monsters. We mostly teach how ignorant you are. I think you can agree that you're kind of very ignorant. Very rash when it comes to their decisions. Mm -hmm. You know how many humans have fled to our lands for a more secure life, a safer life? Thousands. Do you know how many we've accepted? Thousands. <laughs> now think of it like this. What if for say an orc like me fled to the human realm for promise of safer and a more established life do you think the humans would be accepting exactly we would be tried on the spot it would be considered an act of aggression Thus giving humans an excuse to dissolve the treaty that they proposed. 
Do you know why they proposed that treaty, little human? Because they were losing. They were getting outsmarted at every turn. Every outcome we have already thought of. Even now, we anticipate that they will soon find reason to uh, dissolve that treaty. With no warning, mind you. Because that's just how most humans behave. You understand, little human? It's okay, little one. I can see that you're different. Call it a gift. You seem... Innocent. Pure, in a way. Very adorable, too. <sighs> How does what work, little one? Mm hmm. Okay. That's a fair question. That's probably a new idea to you. So think of it as. Let's see. I'm trying to think of all the human books that I read. Think of it as you are paying your dues to society, okay? You and your former friends trespassed with ill intent, of course, which I'm sure we'll find out soon enough from your friends. So think of it as you have to work off your punishment. You have to work as your punishment. Think of it like that. Oh, no, you will not be confined in area. No. You're free to roam about as you please. You do have a curfew. Because I can't keep an eye on you 24 7. Well, yes, as um, chief of this village, I am a bit busy. <laughs> yes, I am the chief of this village. <laughs> you think I'm soft? Okay, no, no, I'm not upset. That's a fair assumption. Um, you know, you're not the first one to think that either. But fortunately for you, unlike the others previous, I won't have to prove you wrong. <laughs> I'm still an orc, little one. Through and through. I just... have an expanded voice of reason than my predecessors. Which, again, is why you're very fortunate that it was me who took an interest in you. You're less tense, little one. Are you perhaps getting more comfortable with me? You're letting your guard down. You've even exposed your back to me. Which is... Very trusting of you. Hmm. How curious. <laughs> hmm. Anyway. Okay, little one. Time for bed. Time for bed means it's time to get cleaned up, eat dinner, and then go to bed. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you haven't eaten. And I know... For a fact, you haven't had time to clean up since entering our lands. 
So, you will have an escort to the bathhouse where you will then bathe. Keep in mind, it is an open one. I'm sure there's other orcs in there, other humans that will also be cleaning up for the night. You'll meet us in the main hall for a large dinner. Also, under escort. Not saying I don't trust you, little one. There's some... that aren't so trusting of newcomers. So until you've made a bit of a name for yourself around here, become more trusting, or trusted, sorry, people will be iffy about you. That is why you will have an escort. And of course, in case you get any ideas about running away, we can't have that. I'm much too busy to mount a search party. But I will. Your friends. You still call them that after all everything. <sighs> you are a loyal little one. It's admirable about you. Well, to their captive, it will be up to them. If they are sent back across the territory line, they'll be up to the captor. If they are treated like you, to me. If they are brought into their home and treated as an equal to work off their debt. Or they could be sent to the dungeon. Mm-hmm. That will all depend on how they act, how they treat their captor, of course. <sighs> no, they will not. They will not be hurt in any way. For that, you have my word. I promise, little one. <sighs> You're adorable. <sighs> you get red in the face every time I say that. Tell me, do all humans get that embarrassed easy? <laughs> Interesting. Just you, huh? <sighs> okay. I'll have to, uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> Go on. Your escort's waiting outside. Take you to the bathhouse. Change clothes. I've had one of the humans in the village get you clothes that would fit. <laughs> you are much smaller than us, of course. <laughs> I'll see you at dinner, little one. You'll be seated next to me. At the head of the table. <laughs> Go on. I'll see you there. Hmm. They are adorable. Oh. I wonder how the tribe would react to that one. It would be good about gaining human stress, too. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. 